Phoenix Journal Number 3 Space Gate The Veil Removed by J. August Series Hatton Appendix 5 Will ye know me? Man knows not his source. Hear ye, I am come. All is known, follow me. Take my hand. Wreck number one Isu Jesus Sananda. Thursday, the 27th of July, 1989, 6.30 a.m. Year 2, day 345. Will ye know me? Greetings in radiance. Let it be known, that the time of actual contact is most near. How is it man misses all the signs? Will ye ones ask to put your fingers into wounds of two thousand years age? What of the wounds of this day? Well, I shall put my hands upon thy wounds of these two thousand years, and ye shall be healed for our circle will be sufficient unto all things. Will ye know me? Yes, when the time is appropriate. I have been among you and ye did not know me. Do not flinch and kick of thine selves, the time was not in appropriateness. Ye shall be touched by the grandfather's hand and ye will know. It is only through the channels of the inner connection with the great and mighty council, that ones will be prepared for this, the greater council. Men run about asking of men, they run to their church buildings and ask of ones trained already in doctrine from which he cannot deviate lest he be excommunicated and defrocked. Man does not receive of the greater from other men, for men have not the power to open up the floodgates of knowledge unto them. The greater comes not by word, neither are the written pages. The greater can only come from spirit which is connected to the all-knowing spirit of man which abides within, and is counseled from higher realms of truth. Not all the books which man can write, or gather together can contain the knowledge, wisdom, and learning which can be conveyed in one instant in, and by the manner in which we reveal the secrets which are so mysterious. All one must do is seek in truth and not for a personal gain, or pompous intent that he have a higher placement than his brother. Man knows not his source, yet man does seek and ask, they ask, of whom? They look, but, where do they look? They say this and that, but what does it avail them? Not with all their mantras have they gained wisdom in order to be wise. Neither have their decrees cleansed them. For the most part they pray unto a false or unknown God. They know not their source. Rules are laid down and followed that ones can remain within a social grouping with no discomfort, and then fall into sleep that no ripples arise upon the waters, that he may wear out his days in dreary, boring and unhappy activities to pass time away until his departure. He works and toys at having rather than being had by fellow men. He loudly speaks his opinions, always of other ones he has studied, and debates, argues, in attempt to sway another to his own selfish truth, most often just to bring peace into a quarrelsome and discomforting circumstance. Thy biggest activity is to go and watch another a man participate in something or other or to go unto someone else's kitchen, and fill thy bellies with abundant food which ye need not. Ye ones have never experienced life. Ye are stumbling in death, you have deadened everything about you. The just and the prudent will now be in the receiving of the greater mysteries, for it is now come when they shall be revealed unto you. I say, behold the hand of God move. See it move, and know ye that it moves, for by the hand of God shall these things be revealed unto thee. This is the day of revelation, the revelation of revelations, wherein you shall have understanding of all former revelations. Ye are blessed. Hear ye, I am come. For this, Dharma, I have put within your hand these things of former ages. Age after age there has been given revelation upon and following revelation, and yet, 
they are not understood. While I say unto you this day, there will now be understanding of the former revelations. So let there be understanding, patience and wisdom. The one who lives in the lie will kill his brother or his own mother, to keep of his lie hidden. The truth bringer is the one he kills first. Will thine brethren protect the gift? So be it, we shall see. Ye are ready again to throw her into the den of publicity, so that ye need not commit thy worldly cash. So be it, ye ask for that which I can give more unto you, and you give me not that of which ye are not even in need. How is it, friends, that there are ones among you who know not that I am come? How is it that they not perceive of the cloud? How can it be they think there is not a cloud? Do I make of my point? Ye can put proof in thy midst and it is missed, they will wait until thy weather men conjure up a new name for a type of cloud which has not ever existed before. Indeed? Well, I say, I am come. Even in the cloud. And they do not see. Even thy military toys scout the peripheries and perimeters and hardly a being takes note thereof, then the reports are misplaced. They see not for the cloud is dense and their eyes blinded. Yea, blind and deaf are they, for they simply cannot seem to see and neither do they hear. The word is placed before them and still it is not comprehended. I am now speaking that they might have comprehension. I shall speak unto them in ways which are new and strange. I shall now write upon their heart that which they shall not forget. I shall do wondrous things, and I shall be as the author and the finisher of my work. I shall give unto each of my ones a momentous experience that you might know, this has already been done in most instances and still, man calls it luck, the way the cookie crumbles, etc. Listen carefully, no man will abort the plan of which I speak. No man shall abort the plan of which I speak. I am the host of hosts, and I bring with me mighty warriors, long trained in the way of the just and prudent. I know them to be worthy of trust, and they are mighty, endowed with power and total wisdom. All is known, follow me. They have not taken up residence upon the earth, and are free of all bounds and bonds of earth come to work with ye who are bounded by earth. My ones are bound by no law save that of creation and of love, which motivates their every act. They know the earth, all the systems of earth, man and animal, plants, yea, even unto the thoughts of each and every one. Above all those things which you cannot comprehend, are they filled with knowledge. Every living thing is known well. The composition of all things are known. I say, there are not any secrets for they have learned their part, they are learned in the schools far beyond man's ability to know. No man shall put them to shame, and no man can prevail against them for they come as ones from within the oneness of creation, Creator. Precious little ones, I tell thee truth, these ones are by far thy superiors. Think not that you are wise, man of earth. You are lower than the angels. You have as yet not seen that which you shall become, for you are within a low grade, and I say unto you, Come forth, and you move not, you remain in apathy. I stand ready to assist you when you pick up your feet and reach out your hand that I might touch it. Be not deceived in this try me. Pick up your feet, seek me out, look unto me, ask of me, be as one selfless, and I shall walk with you all the way and carry you if need be. I do not, however, give myself unto the unjust and imprudent. I bow down unto the just and prudent who act and seek in selflessness. I heal those who seek and ask in truth and selflessness. I will not go into the den of the dragon, yet I will go down into the bottomless pit to find the just and the humble. I bow down unto the ones which give themselves that others might be lifted up.
I give not to the braggart nor the bigot, for they find their reward in the plaudits of men. They find their reward in man's flattery. I watch about your place and I see not that it has profited them. I say unto them, You fools, what has it profited you? I am come that you are not deceived of men, for their flattery is likened unto the tack in your shoe, which will eat away at your flesh, until it becomes infected and cripples you. And yet, you all bend before the flattery and even unto the most simple homage. Ye cannot seem to be satisfied with the homage of God or my bended knee unto you. So be it. Blessed are they which shun man's flattery and find their reward in selfless service, asking naught of man. I say, come follow me and I shall show you many things which you have not seen nor even dreamed. I promise you not fortune nor fame for you will have no need of such, I promise you freedom, even as I am free. Think ye that I am an impostor, asking of you favour. I say unto you, I bow down myself that you be lifted up. So be it that you shall give unto me credit for being that which I am, and I shall show unto you that which you have not seen or known. I promise you no miracles, I promise you eternal freedom and this is what shall profit you for all else follows. Take my hand. I say unto you, and best you heed carefully my words, there has not been one, even though he has been as one mild and gentle in truth and beauty, selfless and giving, he has not been unto you the deliverer, he has not been unto you saviour. I say, to save yourself is the greater wisdom. No one can do it for you, not God, not me. God gives grace that you might know the truth of it, you will do it yourself, or, you will not be saved. I simply stand at the door to measure your intent, friends, I cannot do it for you. A man goes to the rescue of a man drowning, and if he knows not how to swim, both perish. First, brothers, pick up your own feet and they shall be shown the way to walk, for I have opened up the way and for this am I the way shower. Place your hand in mine and I shall lead you gently, and you shall be dealt in justice. I know that which you need and I know your frailties, but you must come to recognize them also, that you can release them unto my tending. I am prepared to give unto you as you ask and are prepared to receive, no more and no less. Bear in mind, I am he which is sent to bear witness of my Father. Likewise do I send my word out by my servants, that they bear truthful witness of me. Behold you me, and I shall touch you and you shall be quickened and you shall know as I know. I am bound by my word, and my word is valid, there shall be no man to invalidate my word. I am come that it be brought forth this day, the plan which is given unto me, I shall do of my part. Let it also be said that you have done yours. So be it, and Selah. Upon these words, I place of my seal. All ones had better be carefully interpreting the sequence of the script as written and be prepared. What you wait for is that which is the final trumpet blast in the peak of Holocaust. Brothers, that is too late for thy mortal form. Will you hear me? You have much to gain by hearing me and thy loss shall be great, if ye plug of your ears much longer. My hand has written and having written, I move on. May ye be able to understand that which is written by God, for thee. I bless you, little ones of mine, I hold you close and secure within my wings. To my scribe, I am well pleased. Great will be the honour unto the scribes of truth, for the entire of the world will be against them, but, the world will be proven incorrect in perception and thy gift unto thy fellow man is infinite. I await thy petitions for understanding that we can become attuned and that our understanding be explicit. I am that I am, so be it. Editor's Note
to all of my listeners and viewers. Please check the description section of this video for the source, reference links and additional comments. From there, you will also have access to the Phoenix Joe rules, which were banned by the U.S. government, along with the initial set of foundational Phoenix Joe rules recommended by Commander Hatton to read, reread, and study first. The journals serve to unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings, and misconceptions foisted upon the masses by those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions, and actions of others from generation to generation, especially those concerning the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda represents an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. In fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mention that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix journals are the word of truth bestowed upon mankind by the higher realms of light, during this most critical time in Earth's evolution, unto a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support this channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.